Tenkerism came from Central Asia, where it was cherished by Turkic tribes. It was a religion before Christ. Some researchers say it is 7,000 years old. Chokan Valihonov was the first to investigate traditional religion of Turkic tribes. He visited Central Asia and took notes from locals. After 100 years, scientists started to study it. And French East Studies researcher Jean-Paul Roux created a definition for Turkic religion – Tengrism. Tengri is a powerful lord of blue sky, a creature that was not personalized in contrast to other religions. Tengri played a similar role as Zeus did for Greeks, but Zeus was only one of the gods and was portrayed as a human. According to Tengrism traditional story, in the beginning there was no land, no sky, but there was one enormous ocean. This story is similar to Egyptian, Japanese religions and Bible. There was darkness over the abyss and the Spirit of God hovered over the water, and one time there appeared a white light. From that light appeared a golden egg. In the golden egg, the god Tengri was sleeping. He slept millions of years, and one day he woke up and broke egg shell and got out. He created a sky from the upper shell and land from the bottom. The egg as the start of a world you can find in mythology of Egyptians and Assyrians. In the beginning, there was chaos. The wind was strong, there was thunder and hurricanes. The world was not stable. So Tengri took his spear and attached it between sky and land. That's how the world started. This story is similar to Japanese mythology. Their god, Izanagi, controlled the first chaos with the help of magic spear, which became world axis. The point where Tengri's spear spiked the sky, we can see the polar star. It stays still and everything else is spinning around. That's why Turks call this star Sky Pole. The world was divided into three layers. Sky, the upper world where the god lives, the middle world where animals, humans and nature spirits live, and the underground world where demons and evil spirits live. In other Turkic stories, tree is used for world access. The tree is sacred and has golden leaves. The tree grows on a tall mountain, which is called Hantengri, Lord of the Sky. In fact, it's not a magical mountain, but it's a real mountain chain, the height of which is 7 kilometers in Tanshan Mountains. Symbolically, it is situated in the crossing of three countries, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan and Xinjiang, which is part of China. The tree holds three worlds. With its roots, it holds the underground world. Tree trunk is a kernel of middle world. And tree crown is the sky, where Tengri lives. Tengri is heard by everybody. He is not a punishing god. If somebody spends a good life, he or she could join god and spirits in the upper world. If somebody behaved bad, then he or she had to go through levels of underground world, where they had to meet Erlik, guardian of the underground world. Those who were sent to the underground world did not have to stay there. The souls were allowed to come up and stay in the middle world, in the shape of stone or tree. Those who didn't know Tengri but had a good life would be rewarded by Tengri. In Tengrism, there is only one god, but there are different spirits, like Erlik. Another one is Umai. Umai is a guardian of children and was portrayed as the stone. During woman's labor, Umai was standing at the entrance of Yurta, Turkic house, and protected woman and unborn child. Umai and Tengri had a son, Yersu, who was a spirit of water and soil and held the balance between nature and humans. The change of night and day was explained by magical bird, Semur, which brought golden egg to the royal tree. In the evening, a horrible dragon came from the underground world and swallowed the egg, but in the morning, the bird came again. Turks usually conducted their rituals near a solely standing tall tree, which depicted world access. This tree was decorated with textile pieces, and now, in sacral places, people leave textile ribbons on the trees for luck. 
Some of the rituals are still practiced in Kazakhstan, Yakutia, Turkey, and in Crimea. Shamans in Tengrism conducted rituals and were counselors. They made rituals to talk to Tengri and other spirits, but they did not play a big role in Turkic hierarchy. There is a legend about Turk's creation. Tengri sent a wolf to the middle world, the fur of which was sky blue color. This wolf is considered to be a protector of all Turks. One day, this she-wolf saved injured boy. She became his wife, and their children became a clan of Ashina, Turkic tribe's rulers. The scholars are still fighting whether Tengrism is a religion or a philosophy. Religions usually have holy book, but Tengrism does not have, despite the fact that Turks had runic writing. It is explained by the fact that Turks were nomads and they frequently migrated. All their belongings they had to bring themselves. Thus, they had minimum of things, which could be put on the horse. The most important thing in Tengrism is balance of power, balance between people and nature, balance among people, which makes it more a philosophy rather religion. What do you think? Is it a religion or a philosophy? Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel or support me on Patreon. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.